guys, welcome to another week of Cradle School. I'm so glad that you could join us. I can't wait to get started. Let's see how many friends we have with us today. How many friends are here today? How many friends are here to play? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten reindeer here today to play with us. Can you clap it out with me? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's stomp it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Are you ready to sing some songs? We're gonna learn all about reindeers today. So let's do a reindeer dance. guys all right let's see if we can do the reindeer hokey pokey you ready to do the reindeer hokey pokey with me you put your hooves in you put your hooves out you put your hooves in and you shake them all about you do the reindeer pokey and you turn yourself around that's what it's all about you put your antlers in, you put your antlers out, you put your antlers in, and you shake them all about. You do the reindeer pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your tail in, you put your tail out, you put your tail in, and you shake it all about. You, you do, do the reindeer pokey, pokey and you turn yourself around. That's, that's what, what it's all about. All right, let's get your red nose. You put your red nose in. You put your red nose out. You put your red nose in. And you shake it all about. You do the reindeer pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Good job, guys. All right, guys, let's take some time to practice our colors and our shapes. I'm gonna hold up a shape and you guys guess what it is. Are you ready? It's a square. It's an oval. Rectangle. A rhombus. That's right, it's a triangle. It has three sides. A star. A heart. All right, last one. What could it be? It goes all the way around. That's right, it's a circle. Great job, guys. Are you ready for your colors? I'm gonna point to a crayon and you tell me what color it is. Red. Purple. Yellow. White, green, gray, brown, orange, black, pink, 
and blue. Good job. You guys keep practicing. There are colors and shapes everywhere in our world. I want you to look around your house and see if you can find some matching colors. All right, are you ready for story time? We have some great books about reindeers today. First off, we're gonna read The Great Reindeer Rebellion. It's written by Lisa Trumbauer and illustrated by Janie Ho. was the week before Christmas and somewhere up north, dear Santa was frantic. He paced back and forth. He had just heard some news that he sure didn't like. It seemed that the reindeer were going to strike. Yes, Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, even Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. They said, we are finished. We've had quite enough of pulling your sleigh with such big heavy stuff. We're striking, dear Santa, and until things get better, no pulling or flying. We're in this together. So Santa decided, that's fine, be that way. I'm sure I'll find others who will pull my sleigh. He wrote up a one ad for lands far and near. Please come and help Santa or no Christmas this year. Soon creatures came running and leaping and clomping, hopping and flying and creeping and romping. So many to choose from. Which should I pick? I'll show those old reindeer. They can't stop St. Nick. Let's start with the pooches. Yes, dogs would be best. Then he hooked them all up and he gave them a test. To the top of my wall, to the top of my roof. And the dog started scrambling and barking. Woof, woof. They're flying. I knew it, St. Nick began to yell. And then those eight dogs started sniffing and smelling. There's food, the dogs whimpered. Yes, food, come this way. And the dogs scampered off, forgetting the sleigh. I won't be discouraged. Come on, cats, it's showtime. The cats trotted over and were harnessed in no time. Go, fly, Santa Holler, to the top of that hill. So the cats all dashed forward and they'd be running still. If not for that stray moose that ran in their way, they shook off the harness. No flying today. No pooches, no felines, what am I to do? How about some true flyers? Santa yelled, yoo-hoo. Flamingos, he summoned, it's your turn, let's go. And I must say your pink looks divine in the snow. They soared up to the roof where they gracefully perched you got it, said Santa. But they started to lurch. On one leg they wobbled and hobbled and slipped up. They soon lost their balance. Oh, how they tipped up. Just then came eight hopefuls a-hopping along. I think we can help. We're all very strong. Yes, yes, welcome Santa. I think you will do. Then he harnessed them up, those eight red kangaroos. That's it, declared Santa, you're hired, let's go. But the hoppers soon struggled. They started to slow. They stopped, then they stumbled. They looked quite ashamed, for their pouches were loaded. That weight was to blame. We took all your presents, the red roo said sadly. We're sorry, dear Santa, for behaving so badly. And then Santa heard a trumpeting sound as eight marching elephants shook up the cold ground. Good fellow, we'll help you. We're sturdy and steady. So he harnessed them up and the great beasts were ready. They stomped, they took off, Nick said. You can do it. They sailed up to the rooftop and then right through it. You're too heavy, griped Santa as he helped them to stand. Is it anyone out there who can give me a hand? No sniffers, no chasers, no animal grouches, no one-legged birds, no creatures with pouches. Well, who should come over but the reindeer? How strange. We'll help you, dear Santa, but a few things must change. A whirlpool and sauna would make us quite able, and real beds, not grass, and a heater and cable. You will have it and more. That's a promise of fact. 
then the reindeer and Santa signed a lifelong contract. And that's how it happened that near Christmas day, you'll always see Santa pulling his sleigh, our eight trusty reindeer who love being in flight. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. That's silly. Can you imagine if kitty cats pulled Santa's sleigh? All right, let's read Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Rudolph helps out. It's almost Christmas and Rudolph is ready to help. He helps the elves make toys. Rudolph loves to help Miss Claus bake all kinds of holiday cookies. Rudolph holds the ribbon for the elves so that they can wrap presents faster. Look, he has ribbon in his antlers. Silly Rudolph. He helps Clarice and the elves put ornaments and lights all on the outside trees. But most of all, Rudolph lights the way for Santa's sleigh. Happy holidays. Rudolph is such a good helper. How do you help your mom and dad at Christmas time? Do you like to help them to wrap presents or make cookies? All right, The Littlest Reindeer is our last one. It's written by Brandy Daughtery and it's illustrated by Michelle Lisa Todd. Dot had a friend named Oliver. He was the littlest elf in Santa's village. Dot and Oliver were Santa's special helpers, but Dot wanted another job too. More than anything, Dot wanted to help fly Santa's sleigh. Santa would be choosing a new reindeer soon and Dot was excited. She just needed a few lessons and then she would be ready. Dot's sister, Stina, showed her how to get a running start. Dot's cousin watched her too. Faster, faster, they chanted. But Dot's short legs just couldn't keep up. I bet Carl can help, Stina said comfortingly. Then Dot's brother Carl showed her how to make the first leap into the air. It's called the takeoff, he said. Okay, now you try, Carl told Dot. Dot tried with all her might to jump in the air. Carl laughed. Very funny, Dot. Not really jump. Now really jump this time. That was it, Dot whispered. Oh, Carl said. Well, maybe Grandpa has some suggestions. Dot's grandpa was in the stable. I need help jumping, she told him. I know exactly what to do, he said. Dot's grandpa showed her how to jump from stable loft and fly. Kick, 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 he shouted. And when, when Dot tried to jump off the platform, she sank right into the big hay pile below. Dot's grandpa pulled her out. Why don't you go talk to your mama? Dot's mama was at the supply store. She was picking up a new harness made especially for Dot. But when Dot tried it on, the harness slipped right off. We can fix it, Dot's mama said. But Dot shook her head. I'm too little. I can't run. I can't jump. I can't fly. Dot's mama muzzled in close. But you will soon. There's always next year. Dot clopped through Santa's village. She was sad. Would she ever be big enough to help fly Santa's sleigh? Just then, Dot's friend Oliver appeared at her side. What's the matter? Oliver asked. I'm too little to fly Santa's sleigh, Dot said. But you're not too little to do lots of other things, Oliver replied. Come on. Dot and Oliver made a snowman. They played tag with their friend Charlie. They made Christmas cards for their families. And they even helped a baby fox find his mama. At the end of their busy afternoon, they collapse in a snowbank to rest. See, Oliver said, look at all the things we can do. Dot smiled. She felt better already. Before Dot knew it, Christmas Eve had arrived. The entire North Pole came out to send Santa and the reindeer off on their important journey. Dot's grandpa gave her a big nuzzle. This will be you next year, he said. Dot nodded. Everyone cheered and waved as the reindeers got their start. But then Dot noticed a tiny present in the snow. It had fallen off of Santa's bag. Oh, no! Oliver looked at Dot. Go, go, he cried. 
Then she picked up the gift and ran as fast as she could. Just as the reindeer lifted Santa's sleigh into the air, Dot jumped. It was her highest jump ever as she kicked her legs as hard as she could. Suddenly, she was flying. She leaped right into the sleigh. Santa smiled. Well done, Dot. When Dot returned to the North Pole early the next morning with Santa and the other reindeer, the whole village was waiting. Everyone surrounded Dot with hugs and cheers. I knew you could do it, Oliver cried. Dot finally found a way to help Santa in his sleigh. Sometimes littlest is the perfect size after all, but even better, having a friend by your side makes anything possible. All right, that was a great story time. I love reading books about reindeers. Are you guys ready to talk about all of the activities that are in your kits this week? I'm so excited for all of our reindeer activities. So the instructions for week seven look like this. We have reindeer puzzles, we have reindeer painting, and we even have a reindeer necklace that we're gonna build. So the first thing we have is sheets of reindeer puzzles. Now, if you have a toddler, then you, the adults can help cut them out. But if you have a preschooler, then let's try to give the kids a chance with the scissors. We'll make sure it's safe. Always try to instruct them to keep their thumbs pointed up to the sky when they're holding their hands and that helps them cut a little bit. Um, and we'll cut it into three pieces and then the pieces will go together to make a nice puzzle. So it's a great counting activity that the kids can do together. And then we have these nice reindeer sheets and you should have a little set of paints and we're gonna stick our fingerprints in and make Christmas lights all wrapped in the reindeer's horn. And the next and last thing that we'll do is make a nice reindeer necklace. So this is great fine motor skills for the kids. We'll have them, first you'll put on the bell and then we'll beat it and then you can take the pipe cleaner and cut the ends off and make antlers and glue on the eyes and the nose. Parents, you wanna make sure that you really let the face dry before they wear it or you'll end up losing it pretty quickly. So these should be some fun activities and that you can share with your family and I hope you guys have a great week. But before we end our virtual class, let's say our goodbye song. Ready? Let me see your twinklers. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. What a wonderful child you are, with big bright eyes and nice round cheeks, talented from head to feet. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, what a wonderful child you are. Bye guys.